Ay. Hi, mom. I'm on TV. Ducky. How's it going, girl? Hey, 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 hey. Hold on, hold on. Hold the fuck on. Hey, listen, listen, listen. Hold on. I don't know why it's on FIFA. Hold on. I, I need to get the game up. But yo, happy engagement. Ducky got engaged, homies. Holy shit. I saw it the other day on Facebook and I was like, what the fuck? What? That was straight out of nowhere. How you guys doing today? Welcome to the stream. No, we're not playing FIFA. Don't worry about it. Uh, we're, we're playing Apex and uh, having a good time, dudes. Hud, how's it going, man? Flaming. And guys, we most likely uh, will be on Twitch later after the stream uh, sometime tonight. But we do stream almost every single day on Twitch, guys. Uh, if you're wondering where the YouTube live streams went, they just moved over to Twitch. For some reason, Twitch notifications have been super weird, though. And why is it not... Hold on, I need to turn off my PS4. Maybe that's why it's not showing up. But uh, Twitch notifications have been super weird lately as well. I don't know why. It used to be YouTube with the problem, but now it's Twitch with the problem. Uh, is Apex showing up on screen for you guys? Maybe I gotta go full screen. Yeah, that's why. Once we apply this, it should work. Yeah, how you guys doing tonight? We're gonna... We're gonna start with a shot, and then we'll uh, work our way up. We'll drink for donations. We'll, we'll have all night. Alright. Sound screen, we good? Hell yeah, let's get it. How you guys been? Long time no see for a lot of you people. Alright, I'm gonna be Wraith. I'm gonna play on my controller. Has anyone else been playing this game? Uh, is Apex Cross platform? Not yet, no. It is not. Am I 21 now? Yes, I turned 21 on uh, January 31st. Oh yeah, I'll pour a nice big shot in there. Fuck, happy birthday. Thank you. Reed, you act like you're 44? What does that mean? What does that mean? Ladies and gentlemen, we got some nice Dr. No kill cutties or whatever the crap you said. Nice Red Bull. Cheers. That's so good. You're the father of friends. True. I turn 21 next month. Yes. Yo, let me know, Ducky. When you hit 21, I'll buy you one of your first drinks. I think I promised you that before, didn't I? I'll keep up to the promise. Today's not my birthday. No, my birthday was a week ago. A week ago and a day. January 31st. <clears throat> yeah, I did promise you. I gotta buy you two now. One for the promise and then two for your engagement. Alright, where are we landing, boys? Dude, for some reason my mic doesn't work in-game on this game. It makes no sense. It works for the stream, but when it comes to this, it's stupid. But uh, if you guys haven't played Apex yet, it's really, it's a hit and miss game for a lot of people. I personally love it because you don't have to worry about building and it's fast pace. Those are my two favorite things about a BR. Uh, but like you can literally not have a mic and communicate perfectly with all the stuff they have available in game. You can tell your teammates where items are. It's really nice. Alright, did anyone else land here? Well, why am I like... Am I lagging? Yo! Argus with a $20 donation! Yo! Thank you so much, buddy. Can we get a hashtag Argus in chat? But what are you drinking? Uh, we're gonna have some vodka later, but right now we're doing... Um, it's like a... It's not a cherry vodka, but it's kind of like a cherry vodka. Yo, Argus, thank you so much, buddy. Why? Am I drunk already, or is this game being, like, leggy right now? Is anyone else seeing this? The fuck? 
All right, we'll do we'll do another shot for Argus right now, and then we'll wait a little bit. All you guys beer, dude. I'm not a beer fan. I'm really not. So if you've ever had this type of shot before, it's called the cherry bomb shot. So you take the Dr. McGillicuddy or however the crap you say it. Uh, it's a cherry schnapps. Then you take a Red Bull. You put about four ounces in. So about half Red Bull. I normally do like one third because I like, I like the cherry taste. And then you just... You put her down. You had a shot of milk just now? A. Hey. <clears throat> yeah. Um, and a thing too, guys, uh, for future streams where we do drinking streams, I don't know if I want to have like a set donation amount to be for drinks or if we just kind of go off of donations or stuff happening in the stream. Because like, let's say for example, I say dollar shots and someone drops $100. Obviously, I don't want to die, so... We'll probably just not have a goal, but like every donation we'll get, we'll take a drink or something and discuss going forward. Yeah, I'm definitely getting drunk tonight. You guys will see it. <clears throat> I had two or three shots before I even started the stream, so we're in a good spot right now. Yeah, oh, Argus, I remember you saying uh, good things about Tynefall. Yeah, Fort, like Fort, you know, my, my, my beef with Fort is trying to stream Fortnite, right? If you're trying to grow through Fortnite, a majority of the Fortnite audience will only want to watch Fortnite. That's my beef with it. Every other community, Call of Duty is kind of like that too, but it's a little more open than Fortnite is. Uh, I, I just like playing whatever I want to play and then... Oh, this is the wingman. Okay. Did he kill him already? Yeah, we're definitely lagging. I'm going to have to restart this. Oh, fuck. Another guy shot at him. Crap. Read your clutch in this game? Dude, I don't know what's going on right now. Where's my team? I'm with Reds, by the way, is his name. Oh, but like, yeah, most of the kids in Fortnite are cracked out too out of their damn minds. And it, it's so hard to play against those. It's like you send one shot their direction, they already have like a fort made. Yeah, no, definitely no beef to Fortnite. I just, I just hope other games come along. Maybe something that's not Battle Royale. Like, I was discussing this with someone on Twitter last night. I think it was Zvor. I would love to see... I would love to see a huge, like, MMO be the next, like, big wave. If some company could work on an amazing MMO. I was thinking I'm dead yet. There we go. Watch this. Ready? Ready? Watch this ability. Watch this. I'm going to get behind him. Oh, shit. That didn't work. Where is he? Who hit me? I main Halo 5. Yo, how's... Okay, so I, I'm going to look for the next comment. I want to see how quickly I can read this comment from when it's posted. Because I think it's like pretty... Boom. It's pretty close gameplay. Touch my nose. Oh, yeah. That's definitely close. Fuck. Yeah, how's, how's Halo going for you, man? I know you're a big Halo guy. 
I forgot to tell you you got a PS4. You're going to have to DM me your uh, PS4 name. Because I'm on PC right now. I'll have to add you later. Missed all my comments anyway. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. Uh, Travis, what's up, buddy? Fair is uh, Jameson, Jack and Daniels, and Whiskey, and Kevin Warren. Travis, every time I see you in here, bro, I think you're like 10. I don't know why, but I think you're 10. Oh. But no, we're, uh, we're drinking um, cherry bomb shots. Okay, let's let's actually do good. <clears throat> what would you say your main game is? I would say you probably main Overwatch right now. I love Halo. Uh, Halo Five has me fall back in love with competitive Halo. Hell yeah, dude! Here, hold on. We gotta update Argus's top D. That fucking twenty dollar bomb. Thank you so much, buddy. Um, where do I go for that? It's been a minute since I've streamed on YouTube. I'm trying to figure this shit out. Hold on. I have to have different like OBS stuff set up. There we go. Thank you so much, buddy. Appreciate it. Uh, since I was a 20 bomb, I like I said, I, I don't know if I can, how much money for shots and shit, but we'll do another drink for you later. I don't want to drink too much too fast though. But yeah. Cherry bomb. Uh, Cherry snaps and then uh, a little bit of a Red Bull. You're 21. Uh, gonna be 22. My B day is 8 25 97. No, I, I believe you, man. <laughs> I just can't, like, I, I just can't tell people's age. Like, sometimes people will come in. It, it's all about profile pics, too. Like, Ducky, she has a profile pic of her so you can see kind of how old she is. I know you're not supposed to ask girls how old they are. But like Argus, you, you'd have no idea how old Argus is unless you ask him. Captain Morgan and Dr. Pepper. I'm not a fan of dark soda, but uh, rum and coke's pretty good when you're drunk. It, it's bearable for me. It's weird. I, I hate dark soda, but I'm fine with dark liquor. With Dark Soda. I DM'd you on Insta, my PSN. All right. I'm an old fart. <laughs> Ryan, get, get your milk ready, bro. We're going to, after this game, we're going to take another shot. <clears throat> Yo, Argus. <laughs> you, you paid for this tonight, by the way. You paid for the whole thing. I think it was like 16 bucks. And, uh, okay, so Ducky and Argus, both of you, it's been a minute since you've been on the Twitch. Do you not get Twitch notifications? Because you both were in here, like, instantly for the YouTube ones. Because I, I know uh, Ryan said notifications have been a little whack. Oh, yeah, man, have back good fun the drunk stream. Hey, this this will last uh, hopefully a decent bit, but um, you never know. What's up? Dude, I, I, Let's get it, boys and girls. I'm gonna relinquish. I think we should go to the nice spot. Here we go. Hang it doesn't notify you ever. What's my Twitter? My Twitter's at mumblelee underscore. Hey, uh, we're not going. Or we could actually go to the ship if you want. Since we're already going to the ten. Yeah. So if you guys aren't getting notified on Twitch yeah, yeah, or YouTube, either way, uh, or one or the other, the best the best bet is to put on Twitter notifications. Because Twitter notifications, I normally tweet out when I stream. Uh, I haven't tweeted out this stream yet though, so uh, kind of defeats my point. But that should work. Yeah, this game's pretty fun. And, like, I I, ha I got in a little... It wasn't Twitter beef with Zvor. Zvor was just defending Fortnite. What the hell is going on? Wait, 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 hold on. You're telling me I picked up a weapon in-game and lagged, and now I don't have the weapon. Yeah, to totally, dude. I I've never had issues lagging on here before, but for some reason it's lagging today. The hell? 
one? Yeah, I don't, I don't. On the way. Video output low. <sighs> why, why is my? <sighs> dude, the campus Wi-Fi is so bad. If it ends the stream, dudes, we'll just go live again. I have no weapon. <laughs> Someone else here, and I'm, yeah, I have no health. You see him on the other side. Yep. Dude, come on! Knocked him somehow. Yo, don't ask me how I'm doing this. Yeah. What? But yeah. Um, I, I haven't get... YouTube... Surprisingly, YouTube notifications have been getting better for me, but uh, for for Twitch, I, I normally never get Twitch notifications anymore. And if I do, it's like half an hour after they've already been live. All good. You guys have ammo? I punched her to death. I ran out. I'm shocked. Like, all my ammo is gone. Um, yeah, re refresh the stream real quick. It should work. Or health for that matter. Why not just use a med kit? That was stupid to me. Yeah, I had to refresh too, but now we should be good. But uh so Argus, are you on a team then for for competitive Halo or how does that work? Is like money eights where you get a bunch of randoms together and you guys play for money? Or do you have a like a specific team you play with? And if you guys are enjoying the stream, feel free to smack the like button uh, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Let's see if we can get to 10 likes. I'm not sure how many we're currently at. Hey, I'm the kill leader, man. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> Got the kill leader on our team. What even is this? My what? Oh shit, this is dope. Yeah, it's working good for me now too. Hell yeah. Come on, baby. I did not give you more ammo, but I think I got a nice little skin on it. And the drops in this game work like kind of like Overwatch, if I had to compare it to a game. If you remember Overwatch, when you'd level up, it'd give you... Uh... Does that work? Scout Sniper, maybe. Yeah, there we go. That I have the most ammo before. But basically how it works is uh, you level up, you get uh, the crate or whatever they call it in this game. You get three items. Battle Royale laser. <laughs> laser, why do you have like a... Why do you have the most random YouTube channel names, bud? <laughs> you sent me a pic of what you look like on Twitter, Mumbo? Hopefully it wasn't a nude. <laughs> Alright, I'll check on it after this game. We'll follow the squad. You don't know? You must know. You make them. Every single time I have a video, I look at the comments and it's like you on a different account. You're like, yo, Mumbo, it's me, Laser. This is my account. Ooh. I'll take that sexy gear. I need, I think, shoddy ammo.
Oh, these are both snipers, yes. You up for some squads next round in Apex? There isn't squads in Apex. I don't have any heavy. There's trios. I dropped on mine. Hey, hey, so, uh, but uh, what, what do you play on, man? What system? It's far out there. Where's he at? Shot south. I'm gonna push up here. PS4? Yeah, I play on PC, bud. So we can't play. They don't have cross-platform yet. Where, where did this guy see the dude? I'm ready. I'm downloading Apex right now. All right, Ryan, let me know when you do, bud. We can play a game. Here, he didn't touch these over here. Careful, new kill leader. But yeah, so you get, like, the Call of Duty equivalent of a specialist. So my specialist, she kind of goes invisible. Um, she can set up portals once in a while where you can teleport between the two of them, which is super nice, super convenient. I've seen a bunch of people do clips on Twitter where they set them up in crazy ways where, like, they'll put one in the storm and they'll put one outside of the storm. So after they get in an engagement, they can, let's say, med kit up in the storm where if they know they can pull it off, it'll get them to full health and then they quickly go through the portal. So they're ready to fight. Why am I wearing a crap jersey? Uh, it's not a crap jersey. It's the United States of America, boy. Put some respect on it. Crap team, but not crap jersey. Oh, hello. Assistant knocked down. He dropped down. Making fried chicken? Ooh, that sounds good. How, how, how are you making your fried chicken? It's been so long I've forgotten how to flip coin. I don't think we have flip coin set up anymore, bud. I think that bot got taken down by YouTube or something. Easy. Easy win, boys. But yeah, for, for the people who are over 21... When you guys turned 21, yeah, did it, yeah, did it like it feel any different? Like to me, it just felt like now I'm just a year older. Like I didn't feel, I, I wasn't super excited to turn 21. I'll just say that. It's cool I can drink now, but. <laughs> My dude's just grappling up here. With your thumb. <laughs> But Gold, how you been, buddy? Long time no see. TSM, how's it going today, man? Uh, Apex has asked no offense. I'm just really not digging the sci-fi thing. Yeah, it's definitely not for everyone, but I'm enjoying it. I, I was I was talking about this on Twitter. I, I'm glad Apex is popular right now, not because it's beating Fortnite. I'm glad that when this game dies down, I'm hoping Fortnite will be died down a little bit too. And we'll see a little more variety on Twitch and YouTube. Where am I getting shot from? Oh, this dude's right there. Yeah, on top slow. I'm just chilling here. Apex is actually Titanfall game. It's actually a Titanfall universe. Isn't it the same company who's gonna make the next Titanfall? But um, they put it off so they could make this. Why are we in the hospital, Gold? Yeah, like battle royales, they're fun, but like the 
the thing that the thing that sucks about Fortnite, and I, I've run, discussed run, this run, all run. the time, is so many people grow their audiences off of Fortnite, and the like the audience isn't open as a whole. Majority isn't open to the fact of having them play other games, which I don't like that at all. I think people should be more open, and obviously, you know, you can watch whatever you want, but. My goal, at least as a streamer, and a lot of other streamers have similar goals, is you want to set up your stream where it's more about the community and just getting to know each other than actually the game you're playing. That's just a bonus to it. No different at all. Buying liquor is weird the first time. So, yeah. So, I, I went to the bars and I've been buying drinks, but today was the first time I actually like bought something from the store. And it felt weird. Like I was in the alcohol aisle. I'm like, I'm, I'm not used to this. Heck. On Ryan, let me know when your game's done downloading, bro. We can we can try to get you get you in. You'll feel different at age twenty five. Yeah, I'll, I'll feel different when I graduate college. So next year, that'll be a weird transition. I don't care what game you play. I just enjoy talking to you. Hey, appreciate that, Travis. Yeah, like I said too, guys, If I, I see a lot of you come to YouTube streams whenever we have YouTube streams. Uh, remember, we stream almost every single day on Twitch as well. Uh, we normally don't do too much YouTube anymore. So if you guys want to catch us over there, feel free to hit me with a follow on there. Twitch.tv forward slash Mumble Elite. That's another thing I'm trying to like think about too. Do do I want to start streaming as well on YouTube again? Because like technically dual streaming, by dual streaming I mean streaming on YouTube and Twitch at the same time through like a site like Restream. It's technically against Twitch TOS of the affiliate program. So if if they want to try me, I can lose my affiliate, which means I can't make money from Twitch. And any money I've made so far that I haven't gotten, they can hold the funds and I never get. So, that would suck. I would definitely not want that to happen. Uh, but what what you'll probably see us do is, we'll, we'll most likely do like drinking streams on here or something. Or start them on here and bring them over to Twitch. It's just you two. I don't, I don't, I don't know what I want to do on here. I'm kind of just indecisive all the time. Mr. Brightside. I get notified. Why is it notify you through email? That's weird. I mean, technically I get uh, notified through email as well, but there's a way to set it up so it's through like the app if, if you have it on your phone. You got the game downloaded? Nice, yeah. It's that, like, it's fun. I, I don't think... Like, some people are like, yo, it's the best battle royale to ever exist. I, I don't think that's the case, but to each their own, right? At 25, I felt like uh, for the first time in my life I could finally think straight. True, dude. True. All right, guys, I, I think about this all the time, bro, with you. You've had a crazy, like, past couple years. Like, you've, as a person, I feel like you've grown so much and learned so much in the past couple years. I'd love to have you on uh, another Lead Army podcast sometime soon, if we ever, uh, if we ever get to setting that shit up <laughs> on my new PC. I'm trying to right now get some of my friends have said they wanted to come on, like IRL friends. I'm trying to see if I can do an IRL podcast with them. I'm trying to think what equipment I have to buy or how to transport my equipment I have so far to make that happen. I think that'd be really cool. Jackson, what's up, buddy? Is Apex good? I, I think Apex is a fun game. Um, obviously, if if you're a Fortnite fanatic, then you play nothing but Fortnite. And I, there's people who will just talk crap at any game that's not Fortnite. I don't know. Like To me, I enjoy it. Do I think this game is going to be the best game ever created? No, but 
it's it's fun to play it something new and for like a streamer that's all you can ask for something free new to play that's popular wait what's this what oh yo that's like a loot llama that's dope that's uh that's what you get after you level up you get that in the item shop or whatever they call it better than realm royale i never did play realm royale Wyatt, what's up, man? He just landed where I literally just died in game. Lol. Okay, how do I play this game? I've just gotten and saw a notification for this game. It works like most Battle Royales, man. Like, if, if you play it like Fortnite, you can play it exactly like you'd play Fortnite, just without building, and you should be fine for the most part. Depends on what you play on, though. I'm on PC, so there's definitely more sweats on here than... I have super low ammo. Oh, that thing stopped it. That was weird. Oh, crap. I'm out of stuff. No, let me have it. <laughs> I have one bullet. One in the chamber, boys. There is nothing here. Only use me blade, only use me fist. Let's go! I will take that. I'm into it, dude. Just let me know ahead of time. Hell yeah, man. Bro, I just took my... Bro, I just took my ammo. Don't tell him we're stream snipe him. Hey, I won't say anything to Mumble Elite. That guy will not see it coming. Bruh! What the hell is up with this leg? Y'all see that? <laughs> Dude's straight standing still. I'm so bad right now. My bullet's going right through him? The fuck? How does the shotgun not do more damage right there? Just promise you I'm going to suck? Yeah, I suck too, man. <laughs> it's all good. Uh, send me a... What, what's your um, Origins account, man? I'll, I'll try to add it right now. I um, hope I'm going to college to get my uh, archaeologist degree. After that, get my CNA. Nice, man. Uh, what do you want to do with that, then? 
You want to become an archaeologist? Here, I'm gonna I'm gonna restart my app. Maybe that will help with the leg. I mean, obviously I was gonna die there regardless. It wasn't because leg I died, but definitely it does feel a little weird right now. Hey dudes, let's see if we can get to 10 likes right now too. If you guys are enjoying the stream, feel free to smack the like button. We're gonna take another one. Murder on my mind. I got murder on my mind. Cheers, boys. Literally every shot, <laughs> I feel your pain. Hashtag sell? What do you mean hashtag sell? I didn't ask for a donation to take that shot. I just took a shot. <laughs> you guys supposed to want to travel the world and after that I want to work in home health care? That'd be cool, man. Ryan, let me know when you get a chance, bud, what your origin thing is. Oh, are you messaging it to me right now? Kism, what's up, dude? Yo, hold on. Real quick. Do me a favor, guys. If you aren't already following me on Twitch, if you want to ever catch a Twitch live stream, I'm going a, I'm to a link my Twitch right now in chat. Because we're, we're going to be on here probably later tonight. So, copy. You guys ever want to catch us live over there when notifications are working? Error try again? Why is it not letting me type? The heck? Did that go through? Just send it to you in Snapchat? Oh, you don't want these people to know? <laughs> Why didn't you just chat it to me? Why'd you send me a picture? This man. <laughs> Where do I have to go to add you? Do I have to open the origin things or can I do it through here? I think I have to do it through the origins. Un minito por favor. I got murder on my mind. In the meantime, let me play a quick little NCS music. Friends, add friend. Oh, the, I think the game's updating right now. The fuck? All right, let me try this again. Trippy emo kid. <laughs> uh, uh, that name's not a name, bud. I, I looked it up and that name's not in the origin system. Ryan. It's fine for you? Okay, good. For me, it says video low output low, and it said stream crash and ended, but now it says it's good. So I don't know what's going on. I was going to do a new thing for my teachers where I would say hello in a new language every time. Uh, so I have all the languages I know. I said, howdy. <laughs> he spoke in that southern draw. What's yours? I can just add you. The Mumbo Elite. It should be right in the middle of the screen. T H E M U M B O E L I T E. You spoke Texican. <laughs> Omega lol, as the kids say.
Bum, 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 bum. You just got out playing with a 12 year old? Damn, dude. Can't relate. I only play with pro players. <laughs> just kidding. Yo, why, why the fuck does my mic not work? I hate that. I hate that. And I fixed it. I went to Origins. I made sure my voice went through, but it said the option you're trying to do will not save for some reason. So, you sent it? All right. Let me go try to find this real quick. Notifications. Let's see, friends. I, I'm not. I'm not seeing. Uh, oh, there we go. There we go. All right, let's get in Discord then. Hold on, let me back out of this game. It lets me back in the game. How do you leave? Just like that. Uh, Aqua, what's up, dude? How you doing? It's Seth, bro. What's going on, Seth? Speaking Ned Flanders next time, you say. <laughs> Howdy. All right. Send you an invite. Let me open up Discord. If anyone else wants to get in Discord, uh, I'm going to be in the Elite Army Discord right now. So if y'all want to come chill and say hi, uh, feel free to join the Discord. Uh, link should be down below to it in the description. Uh, I don't know if Ryan is, Ryan, do you have the Elite Army Discord? If not, uh, it should be down below. I'll be in the general tab because I'm a very general person. Diddly do. All right. I swear I heard someone join. The birthday stream was on my birthday. Oh well. He probably just got a late notification. But we are doing a drinking YouTube stream right now if you guys want to join. All right. I see Kism's then. Kism, what's up, bud? Do I have him muted? No? You just not talking? Alright, Ryan, you gotta, you gotta join game two, bud. What is the best gun in the game? I know there's a bunch of like cool camos and stuff. Ooh. This makes me want to grind the game just to get these camos. Can we eat this fried chicken? Dude, I got, when I went to the store today, this might sound stupid, but when, when you, when you're living away from home, anything sounds good. I'm such an adult now. I got myself organic spaghetti. I'm gonna make this later. We're gonna make it in the microwave as well. I'm gonna put it in a in a microwavable bowl with water. I watched a couple of YouTube videos on how to do it. It's gonna be super easy. Amazing. Are we? I, I'm in the Elite Army Discord, Ryan. If if you don't have access to Elite Army Discord, the link should be in the description of the live stream. It's me and Kism so far. I don't know. I'm so bad at Discord. I don't know how to invite people. There. I sent you an invite. I found out how. Let's go. You can't hear me? It's almost done loading. Okay. Yo. Can Ryan hear me? Yo, here, hold on, let me refresh. 
Bro, if, if we're having Discord troubles again, I'm going to be upset. Why can't y'all hear me? Oh, you know what I did? Hold on. Let me... I think I had to open it up on Firefox. That's what we did last time. Hold on. Let me download Firefox. I think that's the workaround. I think I did this with the Argus for the Lead Army podcast. But Discord's been working, dude. For some reason, whenever we need to do something, it doesn't want to work anymore. Weird how that happens. All right, let's do this. Discord. Oh, shoot. Now I need to re-log back in. Did I get in? Yo, hold on. Wait, wait, wait for it. Lead army. Wally. Yo! Uh, I'm going to your thing. I'm do hack your mumbo. Yo! Oh, can you hear me? Oh, and he's still muted. <laughs> what is up? Hold on. Headset microphone. Yeah, I was going to the wrong one. His thing is showing there like we he's go. talking, bro. Oh, yeah. Is yeah, it yeah. working? You hear me? Yeah, did it. Yeah. Let's go. You. Yeah, it, it showed the wrong microphone. What's up, dudes? What's up? How's it going? I don't know why it's so Discord's so weird for me. This is why I don't like Discord when people ask me. Because it does stuff like this. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna play a random Apex game until Ryan's thing is done downloaded. Let's get it. All right. I have to get at least two kills this game or I'm doing another shot. All right. <laughs> Deal. Hey, so this isn't going to be a drunk stream, is this? This is going to be, I'm um, a die stream. <laughs> if I said that yeah. for every game. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ryan, whenever you want to unmute yourself, bud, I think you're muted in Discord. Kism, what have you been playing, bud? What? What have you been playing game-wise? Uh, mostly CSGO surfing. Yeah. How, so, how, what's, I'm trying to think. I, I see people, like, when they do, like, news videos, like, on some news in the gaming community. I see people all the time, like, surfing in CSGO, but I've never, like, actually just seen straight gameplay of people doing that. What... How does that work? Do you like level up from it or? No, it's just, it's just like really calming just to, because you don't use W at all. You just kind of like use A and D and just move yeah. the mouse and it's actually really fun. I use it to just calming down, like watching a YouTube video and stuff like that. I can just be surfing on my other monitor. It's loading, so I'm trying all right. to No, that's fine. I, I figured it'd take a while to download because it's a decent size. How do I join your Discord? The link should be in the description, Travis. Oh, right, you're live. That's why you're talking to yourself. I was like, what? Yeah, the link should be at the bottom under social media. It should give you my official Discord at the way bottom. Mumbo, my guy. Tiz, what's up, buddy? This is your champion. I don't know why the stream's having troubles tonight. Loading. That's weird. OBS. BS is in the name. <laughs> OBS, my school Wi Fi, my PC's not on. Uh, the cable or whatever. It's oh, probably off. Note. What's your weight up to, buddy? What's my weight up to? Oof, it's actually going down. I'm on the cutting phase. I got to, so I went into the school year. I think most of the summer I was holding like 
220. But it was like, so my freshman year of college, I held 220 a lot. But this was like a leaner 220. Yeah. This was a leaner 220. And then I got up to 240. Got myself 240, and I'm cutting down to. I want to go 200, but I don't think that's going to happen because I'm going to be small, like crazy small if I did that. Last time I was 200 was high school. You're like the uh, nutrition expert at this point, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> this is Peter from the second floor. Ask it. Yo, this is the Peter. Okay. Okay. I see you. What's up, man? Alright, where are y'all at? Get the fuck out my lawn 420. Oh my god. What all right, hold on. I, I promise you guys a shot if I don't get two kills here. I see. I don't know if you can hear the beeping in the background. Knocked one? No! No! No, no, no. Don't get the revive off, bro. Come on. Bro, he's, he's reviving. I'm done. Nah, I'm stopping this. Well, hold on, hold on, game's not over. Hold on, hold on. Wait for it. If he, so th this game too, if you guys didn't know, what you can do is you can, after you're like full out dead, your team, if one player's still alive, you can like call him like a phone over your dead body in your gear. And then if he goes to like, there's this little tower thing set up, he can like make you spawn back in in an airplane. See, I actually haven't played Apex yet. I haven't touched it yet. It was really? Messed with it this weekend. So I'm pretty excited. All right. I I'm going to assume this guy's not going to revive us, but who knows? I'll take the shot anyways. Oh, fuck. This is a big one. What are you even doing, Mumbo? What am I doing? I'm 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 hoping my teammate's gonna revive me here, but he's probably not. So cheers. No, I meant to. I don't know if he's gonna do that for somebody else. Sounds like somebody like dropping a bowling ball to their desk. Oh, it wasn't me. Oh. It wasn't me. No, it's one of y'all. Oh, maybe I dropped the liquor bottle on the desk. I set it down. Maybe that's what you heard. Yeah. So yeah, I upgraded my mic this summer, so I got a nice ass mic. So that's probably picked it up. Jilly, yeah, how's it going? Long time no see. Hola, how's it going, Jilly? I think it's chicken time. How many shots have we had so far tonight? I had three before we started the stream. I think three or four now. During the stream. All right. So we're, we're sitting pretty. Hour in, not bad. So where do you get this game? It, so so PlayStation is just straight on the PlayStation Store. Uh, for PC, it's on Origins because it's EA game. Oh. That's if there's no microtransactions. Yeah. I think it might be accessible th through Steam or like you can add people through Steam or something. I, I don't Okay, yeah, you can connect it to your Steam if you want. But I, I, I don't, I don't even know my Steam to be honest. My Steam, like, I'm trying to think. The last time I played Steam was I think to download CS:GO and play CS:GO, which Argus, if you remember, I think we played that my freshman year when we got away from COD a little bit. But besides that, I really didn't play it. Most games are on PS4. Why the fuck are we lagging so bad, dude? It's because you're on Wi-Fi. Yeah, I, well, it, like, I tried to get on Ethernet here, and it doesn't let my computer get on Ethernet for some reason. I don't know why. Zavor, what's up, bud? Alright, leveled up. Open this bad boy up. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll make a YouTube video in a bit, guys, on a building tutorial. 
how to build in this game. Really? <laughs> Kidding. That's so nice of you. Ooh! R okay, so rare gives you 30 material instead of 15. Damn, son. Yo, Peter, if you're still here, did you go home for the weekend, bud? I think I saw you leaving. Alright, is it downloaded? Or are you still got a little time? I'm still downloading. Okay. But... I'll jump in another one then. Spore, how are you doing today, bud? Hey, boss again. I have best vibrating, like, headphones. You're giving me a concussion every time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, don't don't joke about concussions, boy. <laughs> Kidding. I had to do for my business sales class. They had us do a thing called an elevator pitch. Where it's basically, the goal is if you would meet someone at like an executive company or at your company who's high up and you'd have 30 seconds in the elevator to tell them all about yourself and why you deserve a job, oh, well. let them know. So we, we had a competition we had to go to. So I had to present in front of people my elevator pitch and it was, I think 80 seconds. So it was a little less than a minute and a half. And I had like, you're supposed to brag about yourself. So I had like a killer intro. I started bragging about myself. And then I had like some outro that I like word for word remembered, which never go word for word. But I, I did this for the outro. And when I was breaking about myself, I forgot what I was going to say. And I just sat there for like 10 seconds and didn't say a single word. It was so awkward. I was like, fuck. <laughs> I'll probably go like, well, I want, would like to tell you about myself, but I really want this job. Nah, so it was like, so it was like, it, it was perfect. Like, I went in there hard. Like, straight off the bat, I just opened the door, walked in, the people in the room. I'm like, control your future. This is something my dad preached to me all the time growing up. It's cool to see your company shares the same idea. You guys are looking for salespeople. When I was in high school, I wanted to be, I had talked about, like, my soccer career, how I wanted to be a professional soccer player. But not a lot of people thought I could do it, so I had to sell myself to a lot of people. And then... Not like sexually sell myself, but sell the idea of making a like division one team. Shit like that. And I just kept going through, going through. And then like the, the closing was the easiest and I forgot it. It was literally me saying, uh, I might not know everything about your company, but I guarantee you I'll be the hardest worker in the room. I'm the jump master this time. Dropping in. Hang on. Right, yeah, I love Wraith. Uh, Fortnite should add that you get a supply drop if you win. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Zvar, I, I saw you are getting into it with, uh, who was that? <laughs> uh, who? Jonathan. Jonathan comment, Jonathan and Scotty comment on, like, every single one of my posts. <laughs> and Jonathan thinks, like, people are, like, dead serious every time they comment. <laughs> you guys got into, like, a mini argument about Fortnite in this game. I was just dying, bro. I was laughing so hard. Talking shit, Ryan? No. <laughs> Better not be, boy. I know I'm talking shit. I'm too nice. That's a lie. <laughs> if we asked Scotty, he would say. Oh, if he ever talked to us. <laughs> what do you mean? He talked to me all last night. <laughs> yeah, I paid him like 50 bucks. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing for Discord. See, Travis, bro, I would love to help you, man. But I literally have no idea how I even got on Discord, if I'm being honest. That's how little I know about Discord. <laughs> but, uh, so I'm guessing this is your first time using Discord or what? So if you download Discord, uh, and you have a, if you have an account made, like, let's... Are you watching on like a computer right now, Travis, or what are you watching on? I'll kind of explain it step by step on what you can do. 
I said a gif and he got mad. Well, y'all went like, it was just such a dumb argument because it's like, it's all preference. If, if you like a game, play a game, watch a game. Like, it's no big deal. Like, I know you love Fortnite and I know you, what, took a week off or something playing it last month or something just to have a break, but you went back stronger grinding for that team. It's like, dude, play whatever you want to play. <laughs> My, my like my point throughout that whole thing was just like as a streamer, I can't stand the fact that some streams are like, if you want to grow through this game or if you want to grow quickly, play this game, get good at it, and only stream this, because then when you grow it that way, it's very hard to transition games. And even though no one's like forcing you to stay on the game, definitely from a, a standpoint of wanting to grow, you're kind of forced to stay on it. He took a month off? Yeah. I, I still play Fortnite occasionally. Scotty and I, the other day, we were doing a 1v1. And that was a lot of fun. I think you were there for that. It was when we had that on using stream. Using Fortnite to grow your channel is kind of like using steroids. True. <laughs> Here's the thing, though. Yeah. I, it's different if you're, a bat, if you're just Battle Royale really in, in general. But it, it complete, that completely is true. If you're outside the Battle Royale genre... And you're yeah. playing Fortnite is very hard to then go back, especially like Call of Duty. If I'd stream Call of Duty on Twitch, Call of Duty is not even like the top 25 games when there's not a tournament. It's like 30th or something. Nick A30 fucked up. Uh oh, what do you do? And like, here's the thing. So, and and the way I like manipulated Fortnite was awesome at the time, but it sucks looking back at it now because if you remember, I. I stream Fortnite on Sundays for 10 hours a day, and I barely played Fortnite on that day. I would just set up a tournament where everyone else played, and I'd put a little money on the line for the winner, and I would literally sit back, fall off the map, and just watch people play Fortnite. And I had the most viewership and grew the fastest I've ever grown on Twitch. And I did absolutely nothing but facilitate. Was that boring? Oh, it, it, was, it was fun watching other people play, but like... Just watching them for 10 hours and commentating over it, it's not the most fun thing in the world. I mean, at that point, I'd rather be playing, like, FIFA or Call of Duty. The guy I play Halo with sometimes, he runs a lot of tournaments. And, I, and he'll, the tournaments take, like, seven hours sometimes. And he runs the whole thing, but he can't yeah. play in it because it's his tournament. Mm -hmm. All right, so, uh, man, let, let me help so Travis real quick. So, Travis, if you're on your laptop, buddy... When, when you, I don't know if you made a Discord already, but once you make a Discord, you have your login information and you're logged in. What you're going to want to do is go to my description and click on that link. Then what it should do is open up your Discord already logged in. And it'll pop up on your screen and say, would you like to join like the Elite Army Discord? Basically, you just click accept. And then uh, on the left side of your screen, there should be our Elite Army logo or something like that. And it should say Elite Army Discord. And if you click on it, it'll give you a bunch of tabs you can go in. I think we're all chilling on general is the tab we're on. And you come in here, you can just chill, talk with us. You might have to, like, auto turn your mic on from Discord. But uh, he played Apex for three days without Fortnite, and his Apex streams were getting 7K views. And he went back to Fortnite and he was getting 16 uh, to 19K. But he normally gets 32,000. And see, he here's the thing, though. Like, I was thinking about this. A lot of those guys, especially Nick, they've made so much money already off of YouTube. And, like, don't get it twisted. If you have 7K viewers and you're getting donations and you're playing, you're still making a crap ton of money. Like, if you, if you do that every single day, you're getting over 100K a year at least in terms of revenue. Here, here's the thing, though. What when, when do you draw the line, right? When do you play a game just for viewership and when do you kind of move on to the next thing because like regardless of how you feel about Fortnite, there's obviously going to be another game at some point that people are going to play because before Fortnite existed right people were playing something else every couple years the guard changes you're in a hot zone. And it's always just a battery all of games. Right now you keep hearing. 
All right, so if, if you guys are watching the stream, this is the recover system. So I'm picking up their, I'm picking up their things, and if I go to a beacon, if I go to this next beacon, I can get them back in the game. Huh. Wait, he lost subs. I mean, I mean that's petty if if you lose subs or switching games. If we're being honest. I mean, if that's the community you're growing and they're going to get that butt hurt that you're not even the fact that you're leaving Fortnite, that'd be a different thing. Just attempting to play something else because you want to play it. Don't go towards the fight. Why shouldn't I go towards the fight? Mumbo, I got to say, I was really happy with your last chef, Mumbo. This Yaf Momo? Hell yeah. Oh my. You got What happened to Motivational Monday? What happened to Motivational Monday? Yeah. Is there a beacon up here or is that just someone's? Nice dodge. <laughs> Fuck, I'm pushing this. I'm fine, not, not getting Hold on. Guys, if you're leaving comments right now, my laptop is not picking up YouTube because it, the Wi Fi is down on my laptop, so. Yeah, you're pretty laggy right now. Yeah, so I don't know what's going on. Yeah, the stream's still running on my Okay, good. Dude, I, I think it's the campus. I'm having trouble even getting on Apex. Yeah. Yeah, it sounds like campus Wi Fi. Pretty much grew up on campus. It sounds like a warning for me not to go to college. Well, for what it's worth, I haven't been back to college since like 2014. I got my fill that long. Good. Well, the summers were fun. We basically owned the campus. There was no one there but us. Am I the new kill leader? I'm the new kill leader. That's fine. Patching my mom was the there. Fuck! <laughs> oh, uh, campus security. So I have to do whatever I wanted, basically. Alright, let me. Oh, God. Yeah. Stream might end here. Switch back over to Twitch, man. Well, it's just like the. If I if it does come back and the stream's over, I, I would go to Twitch, but I don't know what's happening right now. Yeah, it's real. But like, so my freshman year, and even last year, I was able to plug my PC into Ethernet, but for some reason, the Ethernet doesn't work on my PC now in this room. It works on my PS4. How does that work? I don't know, because like, PS4 uses like the same like place I'm plugging it in, it easily goes in and works. Here, hold on. Let me try to get it up on my phone, get the chat and stuff. Keep in mind, you are running a lot of parallel data streams on the same pipeline. Yeah. That's true. This game reminds me of COD too much. It doesn't feel like a BR. Map is way too small in my opinion. Remember when I hated Twitch? Twitch is better now? Yeah, a lot of people like Twitch. Um, well, I'll figure it out later. I have an account. My problem is I can't hear anyone. Oh, yeah, I was having that issue too. If, if you're on Chrome, try it on Firefox and see if it works. For, for some reason, Chrome's not working for me lately. Oh, shit, I got a crap ton of XP there. Four kills, survive time. But hopefully this works and I can see you guys better. All right. After this game, let's see. We'll go for, we'll kind of do that for the next couple games. I'll do, if I get, 
If I get no kills this game, normally I do less than two, but if I get no kills this game, I'll take a shot, and then the next game, if I get less than two, I'll take a shot. Thoughts on the game so far? I like it, but it's not, like, super great to me, right? And here, here's the thing about games in general. People need to understand certain aspects of games fit people's play styles better than others. If you're really good at one game, most likely you're going to like it more than another game. And if the other game doesn't tailor to those needs you have of what makes you good at it, you're not going to like it. But it's just plain simple. For example, the people who grind Fortnite building and grind just positioning and knowing how to work with in-game changes probably do not like the fact that in Apex it plays completely different. But for me, I, I've never been good at a Battle Royale game. I've always been average. So, I, I like them kind of all equally. Because it's just something new. But if I had to pick one that fits my play styles better... Oof. Maybe this, this or Fortnite. Because I kind of finesse the Fortnite system, if we're being honest. <laughs> In terms of streaming. I want to get to 50 kills tonight on this shit. Yeah. See, here's the thing, though. I was talking to this war about this last night. How long is the Battle Royale genre going to be a thing? Because I really would love to see, like, an MMO be, like, the next big thing. Like, because you got to remember, too, so many companies are dropping whatever they're doing, trying to make a BR. Several companies have tried to launch... Some pretty ambitious MMOs in the past couple of years, and they've all failed. Yeah. Uh, see, I and I would be surprised to see MMOs come the out. the the thing with free to play games is if you put out a free to play game at the perfect time in terms of people are looking for something else to play, like for example, we'll use Apex. They put this out when Fortnite was kind of getting a little dry for a lot of people. People who still play it every day. I'm not talking about them. I'm just talking about there's a lot of people who are like, eh, kind of just waiting for the next game. If it's BR, great. And that's kind of what Apex hit right on the head. Yeah. And it's free. And they also came out with like a year plan for the game already. And it's updating. They know exactly what they want to do with it. They're looking at community feedback. Just overall, it's setting itself up for success if BR is still a successful category. I think Respawn you'll see... Respawn Entertainment is very trustworthy. They have a yeah. good track record. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, too, like, you gotta remember, what made Fortnite so popular was big streamers playing the game. And if there's, like, the shrouds and stuff, or... Oh, there's... If the shrouds and stuff are still playing this... I love shroud. He's just so good at every game he plays. Did I get zero kills there? I did. Fuck. That's what happens Shroud, when... Nick, and Doc. Love yeah. Guys. They're, and like, they're just so good at any video game they play. Uh, who is it? That's why they're just... Especially Shroud. Especially Shroud. See, that's that's, that's something... I'm, and If I was envious of any streamers for like a single Shroud. trait... I think the trait I'd be most envious about would be just the ability to um, just transition game to game and just have skill on each one. It's not that fun, though. Like, eventually you just kind of get bored of every game. Yeah, you gotta yeah, get bored. You, you, and to especially if it's your game. job. You gotta remember, a lot of people, when they play these games, they're coming off of work, and they're literally just, like, chilling on a game. These people, this is their work. But like for example, yeah. if you look at Summit, hold on. First of all, I need to get back to the lobby. That took so much. If if you look at Summit, I love Summit because he he forced himself to play Fortnite. He stopped. He's like, all right, I hate this game. It's making me hate myself and my streams. He's like, I'm gonna play whatever I want to play. It sucks. I won't get the numbers, but fuck it, I'll go with it. Then he kind of jumped around a little bit, played what he wanted to play. Then he went to Sea of Thieves. It wasn't popular, but he loved the game, and that's what made it popular then. was just he had so much fun doing it. I love the game because of him. People that's love watching game, him, yeah. Uh, low key. If you get a group of friends together, especially if you're all drinking, 
It's a great oh, yeah. game to play when you're drinking. Definitely. I love Sea of Thieves so much. And the game looks like fun. I kind of want to get it, but I'm kind of waiting for it to get a discount. Uh, yeah, I bought it when it was half off, and I bought one, a copy from me and one from my buddy. Still gonna have to run that by me again. Good caps. But it's not worth sixty dollars, dude. Okay, I caught that one. No, it's not worth sixty dollars. That's why I got the game pass instead. We need to have time one more time. If not, I can't play with you. Oh yeah. Yeah, and I, I like this is so weird. So my phone I don't get this. So my phone and my laptop and my computer are on the same Wi Fi's, right? The school Wi Fi. Yeah. And throughout the throughout the campus there it's the same Wi Fi, but there's different routers that access the same one. So my area must be like overloaded for like PCs and laptops which probably use the most data on these things. My phone, though, is on the same Wi-Fi, and it's just fine. Vizzy, what's up, buddy? How you doing, man? How do you like Apex? I'm enjoying it so far, dude. But, uh... Did she take Wraith? Bruh. I want to try this big guy. I haven't tried him yet. I like it, but, like... I don't know. I don't think it's the greatest game ever. But it's fun to play right now. Looking for something new. Like, see, here, here's the thing that sucks... For me as a streamer trying to grow and like find something I enjoy playing. When, when I first started, Call of Duty was all I played. And it was during my favorite and my best Call of Duty, Black Ops 3. So anytime I played it, I had fun. I was good at it. People would watch me for both those reasons. And also I played with my viewers. Now it's like, I don't have any of that shit. The best I can do is play with you guys and have you carry me. <laughs> And, like, you think in terms of viewership and stuff, too. That, that's a big reason why I feel like not as many people watch as they used to back in the day. Yo, Bloody, have a good well, night, man. A ton of people came to the channel because of Overwatch. That, too. Like, yeah. I completely, oh, I completely know. forgot about the Overwatch days. And I still play Dude, it occasionally. That's when I, that was when I joined. Yeah. I don't remember, you sent me a DM on Twitter and I was like, uh, uh, whatever. Yeah, I give a fuck. see, here, here's the thing too, I, I was, I actually wrote a paper on this, that topic, so for my digital marketing class, we were talking about brand recognition, and we were talking about, um, what companies have to do to enter the new digital age, and I think it was one of the articles we were looking at or something, it was talking about interaction with companies on social medias. Basically, you get a 45-year-old manager at a company who's barely used social media besides Facebook to post pictures of his family, and his responsibility is now going to be running a Twitter page and trying to connect with the hip youth, right? How, how well do you think that's going to work? It's going to come off like your parents trying to look cool. Exactly. So I, I was like, I was looking at these articles, and I was trying to come up with a, a thesis on what I wanted to write this about. So what I came up with was I just talked about like the disconnect in general that companies have with social media. Like some companies, they hit it right on the head. Like Wendy's, Wendy's thing is genius. Wendy's is just like a gross response. Okay, I don't have to drink. I got two kills. Who understands the market is running. Yeah, which is amazing. But uh, for example, companies companies in the gaming industry. Come, come, where the fuck? The problem with like a lot of gaming companies that start off is like they 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 start with a social media presence and they do the auto DM thing. Which if they would have did the auto DM thing, let's say two years ago when it wasn't being used, right? That would have been a great marketing move. Like when Haunted introduced the auto DM thing to me. Sure, it might have been annoying to some people, like, yo, this dude had looks like a fucking copy and paste message. But, like, really, if you're looking at it at the end of the day, right, if you can get one person out of, like, let's say, 20 people to convert that to a follow and to come in your streams and be an active part of your community, that's not a bad trade-off for something that was free and otherwise wouldn't happen. But nowadays, when everyone's doing it, right, the, the census behind it is... People hate this. People don't want it. 
don't do it. That's just kind of the trend with everything. Like you see on YouTube all the time, people will have notifications on for a big channel. Ooh, I think I just got Wi-Fi back on my laptop. Hey, mobile, I got it to work. Hell yeah. You did? Hell yeah. Uh, uh, every game right now gets boring uh, for me after a month. Yeah, same, bro. Or my friends don't play it. See, Vizzy, I I would I want to get you on an Elite Army podcast soon, bro, because I feel like you have a great view on this too because I see you bounce from game to game. Just kind of right now in chat if you're still here, bud. How does your community react to that? Because I know you and Dark have very, like, you and the Haunted guys have very similar communities where you have some people who will watch no matter what, but you guys kind of hop from, like, CSGO, Rocket League. How does that work in terms of viewership? What have you noticed? But, uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So, so for my paper, I had to write, like, a 500-word response to, like, the changing markets of digital strategies which like i love i i've never loved school this is the first year i've ever loved school because like i have all marketing and like business classes and like i'm literally writing papers on shit that i love and i actually have knowledge in it too so one of one of the things we're doing is we're writing a it's called a uh what's the word it's called the digital marketing audit of companies so basically what you do is, let's say, for example, we take G Fuel, right? A company that's well known in the gaming community. I would go through all their social medias, all their uh, online presence, and I would kind of grade them on each criteria. Notice what they're doing good, what they could improve on, and kind of just overall give them a bunch of this information. Think about doing that for a small company who could pay you $500 to do it for a week. And then you get back to them, and then they can really improve. All right. Yeah, I'm here. Yeah. So, so Vizzy, how would you, how would you say your like community is with you changing games and stuff, and even like YouTube to Twitch? I know I see you on, I think Twitch. Uh, Larky came back to YouTube. I think he bounced back and forth, but. I, I really want to take it upon myself to keep up with all like the haunted members because I really do miss interacting with all y'all. But what, what were we saying, Argus? I'm sorry, I'm tired. Yeah, dude, how's work going? Great, man. Uh, finishing houses left and right, making money. Hell yeah. About to go make 300 bucks tomorrow. What uh? What's the job tomorrow? Where are you guys at? I'm uh, running a service out to a shed behind someone's house. Gotta dig a trench and whatnot, but it'll only take me about five or six hours. To That's good. Up. Is it just you, or do you have a team working with you for that? Nah, just me. It's just some personal work that I'm doing for someone I know. Nice. And it's tough. Uh, it's hard to keep people for longer than me. Five ten minutes before they bounce, most likely watch the game they want to watch. Yeah, true. Like I, I'm, I'm trying. I'm always thinking like when I'm not streaming or when I'm not doing shit. I'm always thinking to myself, how can I improve? Not not grow my community because that it's always easy to grow a community or grow a number. But like, how can I improve my content? And like for the past year or so, I think I've been at a standstill with that because. What I've noticed is in my head, in terms of what I think's improved content, I notice we'll get way less views than shittier content that people want to watch. And that's the worst feeling in the world. It's like, I have shit that I'm proud of that I want to put time and effort into, but it won't resonate with my audience. Yeah, well, I mean, it's always hard to make a video because I have lots of videos that I've like spent hours on editing. I just had them on this one, just sitting in my like, channel, channel collecting dust, and it's like I spent five hours on each edit, and it's like yeah, and, and people don't realize how much time it takes to edit too. It's crazy amount of time and effort. And the thing is, it's like, and and like no matter what, you, you can't force people to watch content. Even like the most loyal people, people if they don't want to watch something, they're not going to watch something. I, I completely understand that. Yeah, I mean, I, 
I oh. never care about the content while I'm watching oh, you. I'm, I'm always like conversation with. But uh, see, that's the thing. For I live streams, it's that. easier, right? You you don't have to care about what I'm doing for a live stream. You, it's just me interacting with you. But when it comes to a video and there's no interaction, it's just me playing something, right? It has yeah. to be semi entertaining to you, or you have to be able to connect to it. Yeah, I mean, I'm playing Still CSGO surf right now. I mean, mm -hmm. I'm not even focusing on, like, the live stream. Yeah. I'm just listening to you talk. Hmm. But, uh, what, what was I saying before? I think, oh, yeah, the digital market audit. Like, so if you think about that, companies who don't have a younger, youthful presence where people use social media, they will, in a heartbeat, give up and it's like it's not they're giving away that money right that you're they're paying you to do something they have no idea what to do and you might think to yourself oh five hundred dollars is crazy no it's not i guarantee uh -oh. you you can get a medium to small size company to pay you at least a thousand dollars most people target a thousand dollars for that because one it, it takes a decent bit of time to get the information but it's easy to get because one it's just you're looking up stuff that's public of the company and two, you're giving it their your opinion on how they can fix it. And like if these people that I'm doing this work for tomorrow wanted a licensed electrician to do their work, it would cost oh. them at least twice as much. And and that's the thing too, is the the this is this is the beautiful thing about uh, capitalism that people people need to understand and get into now more than ever. If you have a skill that you can do that you already see people doing or not many people are doing and can make money do it for example argus right he literally just hit it right in the head what the work he does he can do it for way less than people who work as a part of a company or get uh hired out as a contractor to do that though because it's expensive to have a license like it's yeah kind of shitty for you to do that to be honest yeah yeah but i mean i'm doing that uh, I mean, uh, during the winter break, uh, I edited down a 12-hour video sent by someone I don't know. Uh, he just sent me uh, like 12 hours of gameplay. I edited it down to 10 minutes, and I didn't require any payment because I was just left-clicking okay. and just shoot split. See, and you I don't want think it's worth it to like. You want to know the sad truth? We what? we as in me and content creators in general, anyone who makes something. If I'm being honest. It's more just like your mindset than anything. In our heads, it's like imperative that we want to impress people that really don't care about us in the first place. To the point where it's yeah. like, if I put right, if I put up a FIFA video and let's say it gets less than 50 views, right? It will probably get the same amount of AdSense as a video that has like 500 views. That's just the way ads work. It's not that crazy big of a jump. If I get, let's say 2000 views on a video and it's like a clickbait video, that will probably get me around the same revenue as something that barely doesn't get any views. And it's all just so small at the end of the day. You're not really making much from that revenue anyways that it really shouldn't matter. But like, I think more than anything, we're afraid of being told, oh, this isn't working. Your content's not getting views or it's not what it used to be and all that shit. And it's like, dude, that, that's the hardest thing for me to hear. It's like, I feel like as a person, I'm improving over the years. At least I hope I am. And it's like, as a person where I'm doing outside of YouTube and Twitch is going so well, but it, it doesn't always resonate when I come here. And I, I spend less time here because I, I see that I have more success outside of it and that success can help hopefully drive the YouTube and Twitch. But at the end of the day, I was at, I think my lowest point last year when my life focused solely around YouTube and Twitch and when it wasn't working, it literally just made me feel like a piece of crap. Because that's all I would do. I would sit in my room by myself, playing a video game I didn't want to play, just try to get views so that people wouldn't tell me that my channel is dying. I think that's the reason why I quit streaming, because it just took up too much time. I have better mm -hmm. things to do than just sit there and play video yeah. games I don't want to play. And that's the thing is, too, is I, I can't sit down and play video games as much as I used to. I just, one, have too many responsibilities now. And two, it's like, I just don't have the patience to sit there and play something I'm not enjoying. The, exactly. the most I'm playing video games right now is when, before I'm going to bed, I will put on Netflix, watch an episode or two while I trade on FIFA on my phone. 
and that's the most I'll play a video game besides streams. I feel like you're waiting for inspiration. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just I, I say this all the time. I'm waiting for that game that I'm just a beast at, and I, I it doesn't feel like work to play. And for me, that was Black Ops Three, and that's I feel like why I grew so well. Uh, the game was I could play at 12 hours a day, search and destroy, be really good at it, drop 15 plus kills every single game, and just no worries yeah, in the world. You were a murderer on that game. Yeah. I could never be you. There's no way I could have ever beaten you on that game. Uh, that's where I am too. I have a problem with making a video and then start thinking if people will like it. I always scrap it. It's a personal issue, but it's real for me. And it, it's sad that we think that way, but that's what society is in general, right? Why do you think people on Instagram post certain pictures, right? You look at these models, you, for girls especially, this is the worst thing in the world. Girls try to compare themselves to Instagram models who are Photoshopping their pictures or at the end of the day, is just something that is not reality, right? These people are paying money to have people work on the photos and make it look better than it actually is. Because here's the thing, if it was actually what they looked like day in and day out, it wouldn't be on Instagram. They have to present in a way that's like, you can't live up to this. What that does is they think it's empowering women, like, you can be like me. No, it's the opposite. It's literally, you're making every woman who sees a post double tap it because they think, oh, that's a good picture, I'm gonna like it. This is something I can never live up to. Fuck. Now I'm depressed. <laughs> I think everybody feels like that on some level. Yeah. And like, and the same thing is kind of true with Twitter in a sense. I'll, I'll look at people tweet about their streams and it's like, they'll be like, yo, thank you for all the support. Crazy that we got raided by Ninja tonight out of nowhere. I, I had 20 followers before this and now I have 30,000. The grind paid off. It's like, fuck, dude. This person's been doing it for two months and it's like, shit. They just got possibly a career made for them just like that. Right place, right time. But then again, it's like, that's happened to me too, right? Korean raid. Uh, Damn, that was crazy. The the random time we played. Out of nowhere. The, the random time out of the blue, we played uh, PUBG. And that's what got, or not PUBG, uh, H1Z1. And that's what got cripple, crippled the Finder channel. Just like little shit like that. It's like, I would not change for the world. Because I was just doing what I wanted to do and I ended up benefiting in the long run. I think that's a good lesson people need to learn is like at the end of the day, there's not one way to success and what success looks like to you could be different to what it looks like from other people. So if you're just worrying about what you're enjoying and trying to make it as good as you can, it's really all you got to do. The rest will come. Success is just a concept. Do you believe in the like the idea that uh, success is something you build up, like it's something you grind for? Because I, I don't see I, like um, looking at artists, they don't feel like they're building up. I mean, if you take uh, Adam from Skyrim Minecraft, I mean he was he got big out of uh, you know, now he's not nobody, yeah. but then he became a rapper, and I mean his rap and me included, I mean we liked him because yeah. he was Adam. Yo but Zero, what's up, then buddy? Again, we have people like other. Uh, that uh, uh, just get it and that like, come from out of nowhere. But did they really build their way up? See, and success looks different depending on who you are, right? My 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 thing, the way I look at success is if I'm doing something I enjoy doing, and I'm doing it constantly, I'm thinking I'm moving in the right direction. That's all I can really do. That has nothing to do with numbers. It's just how I feel. It's a feeling and it, it's a process, right? Anything that's good is not going to come easy. And I, I think, so. I heard it somewhere. I can't remember who said it. Oh, it was Steven Crowder. So re regardless of how you stand on the political spectrum, I was watching Steven Crowder and his new thing he does is he does like a seven minute closing where he just opens up and talks to you as a person. And he brought up the idea of like taking the easy way out. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave this out of the discussion, but his, his thing was abortion. He was talking easy way outs, but he related it to life. But so his, his main premise on the thing was, he's like, if something's worth doing, right, 
it's not always going to be easy if you're looking from like a career perspective or just life perspective, something you want to accomplish. But here's the thing. Whenever something's challenging, there's always an easy way out. No matter what, you're going to have challenges throughout your life. But what you notice is, let's say, for example, I, let's say, fail my math test or something in school, right? And it's going to take a lot of work for me to turn that around because I failed and it's going to be a hard comeback. I could easily at that point, you know, just drop the class. I could drop out of school, take that kind of coward's easy way out of just, maybe it's not for me. I'm going to try something else. Or, or you can accept the fact that you did something wrong. You can accept the fact that this is going to be challenging. It's going to take possibly more time, more dedication. You're going to have to get better at it. And you can work with that. Uh And I, I think that's something I've really been working on myself is like fitness, especially Working out is something I love doing, but if I only worked out on days where I felt like working out, it, it, it I would not be where I am and where I want to yeah. be because it just doesn't work that way. The, the great thing about working out is if you make it a habit, no matter how you're feeling, you get your ass to the gym X amount of times per week or as often as you can, you'll do it. And you can do that in any category. It doesn't have to be just working out, streaming. If you suck at math and you put aside half an hour a day just to study more and practice, I guarantee you you'll get better at it. Well, as my uncle would put it, suck it up and march on the shoulder, whether it's an injury or if you fail, suck it up and march yeah. on the shoulder. Read the text. you remember? I, I, I read your message, Zero. I remember you, buddy. I remember you, Amari. Zick, what's up, buddy? Uh, what's really the point of this game? Just curious. It's, it's a battle royale. The point of the game is to play it and win. Everyone talks about I, this game? Uh, yeah, because it's big right now. I, um, I feel like a lot of people get the wrong idea when it comes to success from the start, at least. I feel like they don't understand that, like, there's no, there's never going to be a point where you, like, arrive. It, it's just a journey. So You're, It's a constant journey through your whole yeah. life. And if you ever stop striving for something greater, I feel like that's your first true death. So, do you know who Travis Barker is? Death before your death. I know the name. So, Travis Barker is a, a musician. He's a drummer, but he's more known for, he's had a couple rap songs, but he makes a lot of beats for a bunch of different artists. Back in the day, he made beats and got a bunch of different people on his album, including Lil Wayne, and he toured with them. Yeah, I know the So, name. This, this guy, he was, he, he was struggling. He was, he wanted to be a drummer, but it didn't look like it was going to happen. So his dad basically told him after high school, he's like, listen, you either need to start paying rent here and live here, or you got to go out and make this happen. You, you can't, he's like, but I, I can't have you playing just drums in the garage. And he said that that's the best thing that ever happened to him. So what he did at that point was he called his friend. And he's like, you know what? I think I'm just going to get like a factory job somewhere make decent money from it and just pay rent to my dad and whatever happens, happens. But instead his friend's like, no dude, trust me, you have potential. Come live with me. You can sleep on the floor, sleep on the couch. I don't care, uh, but we'll, we'll start a band and we'll just practice. And at that point he said he made it. At that point he was successful because he was following his passion and he was making just enough money to put food on the table and stay where he was. And that was success to him. That was before now he's made hundreds of millions of dollars. And he's not <laughs> as happy as he was back then. He said that was the happiest he's ever been in his life besides having kids. Success to me would be lifting this damn weight and going in the army like I wanted to. You said lifting weights and going in the army? Losing this weight. Losing this weight? weight? I weigh 238. I need to lose weight. That's really not so bad. That That's not bad. I weigh. I'm at the <laughs> weight right now. I'm like at 235. What, so wait, what, what's the requirement? What do they want you to get to? or Is it just... Well, I'm 5'7", and with, between what my neck is, they did it, it's called a tape test. Okay. And um, my neck is 15, so my waist has to be at least a 34. And I'm in 42s. Okay. I wear like a 32. Are you in Discord? Yeah, we're in Discord. You can do it, man. I've, yeah. I've known some... I've known people that were well over 300. I'm going to ask you a question right now. So, your your goal is to, you said get into the army or get into what? Get into the army. Get in the army, right? Yep. So, 
so th think about right now. What what are the things that are stopping you? It, you're you're si weight. But be, besides weight, what what is it more? Is it you're obsessed with eating like you overeat, or is it a bad diet? Oh, I don't or, overeat. I eat me. one to two meals a day. I so. definitely overeat. <laughs> I do too. I love food. I fucking love food. So I eat one to two meals a day, and that's it. So what are you if eating I wasn't though? So active in my job, I'd be. Um. Well, I get Link, which is food food stamps. Okay. Um, but I normally buy stuff to make meals for like last night we just had uh Italian beef. That's the stuff I eat, like beef, burgers. Okay. Like oh, okay. Well what I what I would say is if, if your goal then is to lose weight so you can do this, ju just take it yeah. day by day, right? I, I would, if I were you, if you have a phone or laptop, you could use, start tracking your calories. So whatever you eat, let's say you eat an apple, write down you ate an apple and it'll automatically show you how much calories are in the apple and you can track. And the cool thing about those apps is it'll be like, hey, you hit your fiber, fiber goal today, but you're a little low on your protein or you went a little above on your fats today. And then if, if you're looking to lose weight, those, those things are going to help you more paint a picture of, hey, each day, you know, I'm eating 300 more calories than I should be. Maybe that's why I'm gaining weight. Uh, well, my cousin was husband did a calculation. They did a calculation on his phone, and with my weight, I should be able to consume about 3,000 calories a day. And, and see, here's the thing. I, I'm in the same boat. We're about the same weight, but I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a, about a half a foot taller than you almost. The, the yeah. thing is... Weight, weight and muscle are two different things, right? If, if you're putting yeah. on muscle, muscle is going to weigh more than fat, but you'll be able to hold it way better. So if you're, work, let's say you start working right. out or you're uh, losing body fat, you might not be going down weight, but your body's going to have the appearance of being skinnier. And for those measurements, gotcha. they're, it's going to help you out too. Gotcha. But what you need to do is if, if your goal is really trying to get in the army you got to find whatever is going to work for you to do that whatever little right. tangible things you can do start looking at those because if, if you look at it from the big picture of i need to get to this point that's always the hardest way to look at is shit this is so far away like for me well, graduation is so far away but right. i'm taking it class by class test by test homework by homework week by week and just slowly working way through it well, I know I need to quit drinking beer, but that's just that, too damn addicting. I, that, I, I can <laughs> guarantee you that's that's what's doing it. <laughs> if you cut, it I, just tastes too good, man. It, I, it's it's so good, but do do me a favor. If you can, if you can try for a try for a week, and if you can't do it for a week, just do it for like three days. Have the uh, only thing you drink. Liquor. Have the only thing you drink is just water. Right. Nothing else. Just try just water and see what that does for you. Because that's right. going to clear your system, and I guarantee you, just doing that, you're going to lose some weight. Gotcha. I don't need enough? Yeah, Vizzy, you you skinny-ass people upset me. <laughs> <laughs> I, one of my best friends at school, Scotty, he, he just right eats now. whatever he wants, and he, he's just the skinniest dude ever. I'm like, I hate you for that. Like, he, he's, he's like, yo, you want to get a pizza read? I'm like, dude. That's not going to affect you, but if I eat a pizza, I'm going to go up like five pounds. Yeah, I'm like that like, too. Another thing I need to quit doing is smoking cigarettes. I cough so hard that it sounds like oh, I'm dying. Yeah, yeah. Gotta stop that, man. That shit's. I, I smoked for about five years. I'm so glad I quit. Oh, oh yeah. It's so much better now. How, how'd you quit, Argus? I just put it down, dude. The thing won't jump in your mouth on its own. Yeah. All right, we're having another shot. I wish I could take a shot with you, man. I'll, I'll take it for you, buddy. I'm, I'm uh, making it a double. I'll take a shot of Coca Cola. <laughs> I just put it in. I think I have it. <sighs> That's not to say it was super easy, but after about the first week, it's all in your head. Yeah. Uh, Dude, I survived a year of Coca Cola. It takes like 10 to 14 days to form a habit, good or bad. 
Oh. Whoa. <laughs> Alright. Well, see, also, when I was sitting in jail, my crazy story, my extreme in jail for no reason, I was doing 300 push ups twice. In. Nothing phases me. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sounds about right. Yep, been in jail. Just about nice. everybody in my county has been to jail at least yeah, once. Damn. Damn. All right, yeah, that's just how it is here, man. Yeah, they'll oh. throw you in jail for having the tiniest little bag of weed, you know, oh. and everyone in the county smoked. All the charges were dismissed, but freaking all it shows on my record is that I was arrested. See, you, are, yeah, that stays in you know what I find so funny about, like, weed in general? It's like, you, you would think that the government would want it to be legal so they can make money off of it. What, exactly. What, what do you think that would be the case? And I, I know in Colorado, at least... Colorado, they're having the, they're having this issue. So Colorado, they made it legal, but there's people who still sell it illegally, and people will get in trouble for buying it illegally oh, because it's cheaper. Yeah, the black market's still alive yeah. and well, and um, even dispensaries, official dispensaries, make millions and millions of dollars of uh, illegal backdoor sales every year. Actually, a lot of the weed in non-medical states comes from that. Damn. I mean, oh, yeah. the sanity must be like producing a lethal drug and like seeing the number rise whilst you're like <laughs> producing it's like a, the death causes of that. <laughs> I saw, uh, saw some the other day. It was like, how how do I know for a fact that weed's not a drug? And his response was, uh, if weed was a drug, I would have overdosed by now. <laughs> There's literally oh never been a weed overdose ever. It's, it's not a thing. Uh, yeah. Oh, Mumbo, you want to hear something funny? Yeah. We just like the milk of. When I was twenty drugs. years, when I was twenty years old, I was with a fifty-one year old. Holy shit! Holy shit! Cougar chaser. Wow. <laughs> Did she at least pay you? No. <laughs> where, where, so, what, what were you getting out of this? The experience? You just liked her? Or? The what? Well, I met her off of this phone dating line called Live Links. Oh, okay. that sounds about right. And I'm I'm just looking for a loyal and honest girl because I'm I get lonely. I'm depressed. I get I yeah. have depression. And I think I get the gist of this story. <laughs> no, I want to hear it. I need to hear it. He said he's got a story. Let the man speak, please. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I have depression. It's severe depression. Yeah. So I get lonely. I'm looking for a loyal and honest girlfriend. And so, long story short, I made her squirt so hard I thought she pissed the bed. <laughs> 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 yeah. Hell <laughs> oh, yeah, man. Let's <laughs> <laughs> drink Coca Cola. Oh, <laughs> you have to. Shit, I might have to take another <laughs> shot just to get that picture out of my mind. <laughs> Fuck. Hell <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but anyway, she turned psycho. Coca Cola. She what? She turned psycho on me and kicked me out yeah. um, in the middle of the night, so I had to call my mother. To call Greyhound Corporate to get me a bus ticket home. Damn. Damn. That's a low, low, bro. And so I will never go see another <laughs> woman again. They had to come see me. Jeez. <laughs> That's a low, low to feel. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's funny. <laughs> it's sad but funny at the same time. I feel for you, but... See, like... It seems like... It's like a low-key freak. <laughs> <laughs> They got your monetization on freaking YouTube. Nah, my the, so I, I told a story recently that it lost the monetization, but I was talking about like uh, the first time I went over to a chick's house and she ended up being crazy, and I was talking about like the hot crazy scale, how you really don't you don't realize she's crazy until like it happens. <laughs> and I don't know. I the, this the video told it better than I could tell right now. I'm not in the. I am hurt. Watch out! They've got multiple up there. We can't take it. What the fuck? You're sick. You're dick and crazy. <laughs> yeah, GG. I've made that mistake. Where's our dude? Well, my ex fiance is 405 know, pounds. Running around like a dickhead by himself. Damn. Dude, I I love these people in my fucking game because they they die because they're stupid and bad. Then they get mad at me, who's trying to find weapons so I can help them. 
Uh, it's like, oh yeah, let, let me come just straight run at you and die. I got some crazy stories to tell, but you shouldn't be talking. Like what? What am I supposed to do there with a pistol? And these dudes are getting mad at me. It's like once you ra <laughs> once you rather have me find weapons and wait for this team to go, so then I can grab your stuff and revive you rather than just rush you and die. Like I don't I don't get that thought process. That looks like a Michelin man. Yeah. The guy that killed you looks like a Michelin. That that's like the that's like the Ryan the Reinhardt or the the uh what what's the Roadhog of Overwatch? Just the big old tank. Alright, I need five more kills on this character. Oh, hey, an advertisement. You know what, yep, buddy? I got an for you, I'm gonna watch the whole hey. thing. <laughs> I might as well. <laughs> I may or may not get a penny from that. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows, dude? It's all it's a scam anyways. Like, like, trying to explain that to someone, like, it literally makes no sense because, like, for example, if I if I talk to people at my school, it'd be like, "Yo, yo, um, they're like, yo, you do YouTube? That's crazy." And they'll like ask more about it. I I don't like talking about it because it's hard to get them to understand. But it's like, I'll tell them about. It, they'll come check it out, and in their head, because I've had people tell me this before, they're like, "Wait, you've kind of told me how much revenue you're making from this. How are you making that from? You only have like five people watching right now." And I'm like, Be "Because I've told you, if you would have listened." If, if I really get to know these five people and one of them decides at some point they're going to donate any sort of money, that is going to be more than I would have made if there was a thousand people watching me right now off of advertisements. That's just the straight up truth. And if you start like realizing more that way of growing the connections and growing your community rather than the number, that's always going to be around some way or another. Now, yeah, I've, running a subscription yeah. service is the only way to make money off of this anymore. And like, look, like, like, and like, and like YouTube in general, right? Like Argus, this twenty dollars super chat, that's gonna be the most money I've made in a while off of YouTube. Meanwhile, if I go to Twitch, I think out of the ten subs I have on Twitch right now, eight of them are Twitch Prime. That's people subbing for free, and that's a little more money than I'd be making on YouTube. And that's literally, I don't have to do anything. It's just people will twitch where I'm sub. I'm so happy. It's like you're drinking alcohol for the first time. <laughs> Legally. Some of the no. first times. <laughs> Dude, I don't know what any of you guys can drink. That's fucking disgusting. See, I, I thought that too. When I was younger, I thought alcohol was disgusting. You grow a tolerance to it. You know what I mean? I've been drinking since I was three years old. <laughs> Jesus. See, and what, what, what you younger kids don't realize, Kism, or... Like drug version of it, being molested, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, no. Well, but, um, but, uh, like, the key to drinking, especially, like, liquor, is drink it when you're drunk. That's what makes it easier. It, it's still, like, if, if you're drinking a shot of something and it's straight, no matter what it is, you're gonna taste it, you're gonna feel it, but... If you're already drunk a little bit, you're not going to taste it as much. But if you have, like, a chaser, which is, like, a soda or, like, a juice or something after it, or even a water, you're fine. He just plummeted so far. I just <laughs> fell off the fucking map. <laughs> well, I don't know about chasers, but I was, my beer that I drink is 5.9% alcohol, and on top of that, I had, I had some whiskey. Oh, yeah. See, and it, Milwaukee's best ice. I, I, I'm from Wisconsin. We're a beer state. Yeah, beer and cheese. Absolutely yeah, love it. But the, the thing that sucks that? about beer is if, if you're going to get drunk between beer and alcohol, you got to drink a shit ton more beer than alcohol. Yeah. But the thing is, the amount of alcohol that's in beer compared to uh, hard liquor is you're drinking so much more calories in beer to get drunk than you would if you just did liquor. Uh, so that's probably um, another problem too. If you're drinking to get drunk, a huge flavor I wouldn't be I wouldn't be surprised if you're consuming almost a thousand calories every time you get drunk of beer, at least. That's well, the only time I only like got a beer in my system is when I was like, I think I was like. I think I just knocked two guys. 
Fanta looks really delicious and beer looks like Fanta. So it's like, oh hey, here's Fanta, let's go. I, I just killed the whole squad. What the fuck? With a pistol? Are you kidding me? I got laxed. And you, you took a sip of it and you were like, damn, it's pretty good. <laughs> now I went like, what the fuck is this? Stuff. <laughs> it tastes like piss. But yeah. you mumbo freaking. I was drinking the whiskey and the beer for five hours straight, and I barely got a buzz after that. Yeah. You're like my cousin. I mean, my cousin's like that. Attention. He can drink and drink and drink, and he won't feel it at all. See, you yeah, want to like know something else, Travis? Even if he takes a long ass tolerance break, he won't feel it. Travis, bro, if you take a week off of drinking, like that, if you take a week off of drinking, you're gonna feel that even more than. Uh, That's another thing too. Cause like you're building up such a tolerance for it. Like think of it as like a drug. If you're uh, if you're taking a drug, it's gonna be harder and harder to get that high. So you're gonna have to do more of it. Oh yeah. Uh, and also, Mumbo, if you remember, I don't know if you remember or not, but I told you I used to live in Wisconsin. Wassa is where I used to live. Wisconsin. Where in Wisconsin you say? Wassa, Wisconsin. Oh yeah, Wassa. See, and the thing I was saying earlier is, like, it's so nice to get into, like, Discord calls and actually, like, hear people. Because, one, like, I meet so many different people. Uh, it's like I remember these things, but I can't put, a like, a name uh, to person until, like, I hear their voice and shit. But, like, I would have no idea. I would assume you're 10 if you came in. You're like, hey, Mumbo. <laughs> and it's like, because it, it's like, because I was having this conversation with someone. I'm like, if someone's talking shit in chat when I'm playing Fortnite... I'm assuming they're a ten year old, right? And I'm not gonna if I'm thinking logically, yeah. I'm not gonna go you know into a middle though? school and yell at a middle schooler. So why would I do it online? So it's like, alright, I'm gonna just I'm gonna just chill. Actually last time I was in a Discord call with you, it was when it was during the Logan Paul controversy and I said oh, and I tried <laughs> to explain to you that it was like the it was very like um one sided and stuff like that. And uh, Holy the shit, I'm going off. Hold on your... one sec, one sec, one sec. Oh. You're a murderer. I'm getting cocky. I'm trying to hit this guy. One sec. I'm going to die here doing this, but it's going to be so worth it. Okay, well watch what I do with this Wraith girl. I'm going to finesse this whole system. I'm going to follow from Bishon. Ooh. Wait for it. Reloading. They've laid traps. I'm getting hit over here. Oh, what the fuck? Let's that? go, bitch! Woo! <laughs> yeah, boy. That's what I'm talking about, baby. How many kills do you have now? I got five right now. Wow. See, I'm wait and like the thing is too, another reason why I like this better than Fortnite. Simple. I'm better at this game than I am at Fortnite. <laughs> I just don't like Fortnite anymore. I don't even know why I still installed. I don't know uninstall that piece. See, I like the idea of gaming getting popular. I don't like the idea of Fortnite being the only thing that people play. Yeah, I don't really care for Fortnite. It's just a bunch of Fortnite bullshit. Is, is to this uh, decade what Halo was to the decade Dude. before. Dude, like and like, ki kids, only 90s people will remember. Whereas now, people are like, what's going to be the next Fortnite? You know? Only 90 kids will remember the joy of playing old school Call of Duties or Halos on Xboxes yep. and PS3s. <laughs> Bro, about about James, what's up, buddy? This game is easy, dude. I love this game. Well, y'all know about having three channels. Well, you know about some bunny ears on top of the tube TV, huh? <laughs> All right, I got what's that? Eighty bullets in this. So this this wingman pistol I got. This is like a deagle, if you had to relate it to uh, like Call of Duty or Fortnite. So this thing. If you hit your shot, you pound people. This is Shroud's Can favorite weapon. Can you get the smart pistol? 
Can you? Well, what's a smart pistol? It's a pistol that, like, as long as you're, like, as long as the enemy is close enough and within, like, this huge box that takes up most of the screen, the bullet will hit them no matter what. Really? Yeah, the bullet, like, curve huh. will curve. I'm not sure. Uh, James, how are you doing today, bud? Welcome to the stream. Alright, where do we want to go now? 25 people left. Does this game only have, like, 60 people in it, too? Like, it, it's super low start. But the map is smaller, so... Oh, I see people. Oh. Watch what I do here. Oh, fuck. No, it didn't let me do it. Oh. I was trying to put down my thing. Oh, of course, they're going to thirst me. Hey, Scooby-Doo is a good thing. Don't make fun of Scooby-Doo. I was in my favorite quote. <laughs> you can die yeah. so fast in this game too, which I like but dislike. Because it's like, you can sit there, you can shoot someone for two minutes until you kill them, but then it takes one bullet to kill you. I'm a big fan. Me and my cousin are big fans of Scooby-Doo, so. Scooby-Doo, where are you? Doinks. <laughs> You want, you want to know the most real thing about Scooby-Doo? What's that? That every single time they were chasing after monsters, the real monster was actually yeah. just a human being. That's like the underlying message. Is don't be afraid yeah. of monsters. The monsters you should be afraid of are human beings. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't know. I always saw it as like the pe people around you are always dead. Because it's so say, say it again, you cut out. Important. Oh. Uh, the people around, uh, like Scooby Doo, and are yeah. always the enemy. and it's just hiding, like in plain sight. And that, that's like, the thing too. Oh, I see. You never know, and, but like when you get older, you see that too. Like there's friends that you might have grown your whole life with, but when high school hits or after high school, you realize who's actually there for you and who the fake ones are. No, yeah. well, I mean well, I hate yeah, everybody I have, equally. Yeah, I have no friends besides my 61 year old friend Rod. <laughs> Oh, yo! I got an epic skin. Let's go. The Bloodhound. That's dope. He has the the crow on his arm. Division two is coming out. Thoughts? I'm gonna get Division two. And I'm gonna love Division two. I played Division one. I liked it, but I'm gonna get it on PC this time instead of PS4, and it's gonna be awesome. How about you, James? What do you think about it, bud? Beta is out for it. Ooh, I might have to play the beta then. I wanted to go like look at something about my stream and it wouldn't let me look at anything. It's like your stream is currently not live. Uh, I'm pretty sure it is. I'm watching you right now. So I, yeah, I had, to ref I had to refresh it. <laughs> uh, your internet sucks. You need to go to Comcast and Xfinity. See, I, I can't. The thing that sucks about being at school is you really have no control about any of this shit. If if people uh, are on it, they're on it. the The only way I can like do something about it is next year I'll be living off campus. I'll have uh, my own Wi-Fi, which my my friend and I we're online all the time. He does he does e-commerce selling shoes. So like uh, he went he went to Nike. He went to an outlet store this morning and he bought fifty pair of shoes. Crazy amount of money damn. spent, but. For him, he's gonna make profit on every single one of those shoes when he sells it to someone else. So he's gonna get a fucking payday off that. So we're so from my streaming and like content creation to him doing that, our house is literally just gonna be like a business house and then party on the side. Nice. Oh, yeah. And we're close to the bars as well, so it's nice. Hey, I'm at 50 kills. Let's go. 50 well, kills. Shit, you're not that far free, from yeah. me. Invite me to the bar. I'll figure out how to get a ride up there. You pick me up from the bus stop or some shit. Hell yeah. Wait, where are you living right now? What time is it in America right now? Travis, where are you, where are you living right now? I'm all the way to 836. I'm in Kankakee, Illinois, by south, sub south suburbs of Chicago. So that, do you know where Whitewater is in Wisconsin? Yep, I know exactly where it's at. Yeah, that's probably what, hour and a half tops from where you are? or Probably. Hell yeah. I think we went through it going through the bus because it took us through Oshkosh, Madison, Wisconsin. Yep, I'm from Madison. 
That's where my other friend's from, Yo, It's Tom. Have you ever seen him stream? I don't know if you've heard of him. No. Yeah, that's where he's from. He I... recently got a divorce. I'm sorry to hear that. Yo, uh, James, bud, where, where do I get the Division 2 beta? Where do I download it at? Is that through Steam? Or is that its own? Because... I'll probably end this YouTube stream soon to get food. What time is it? Oh, it's only 8.30. See, the nice thing about drinking, too, is when you start drinking, you think the night's going quicker than it actually does. Yeah. It's directly, like, not for me, I guess. So, yeah, so it's right for, now, for, kids, it's kids, for you, too, bud. So the, United, so the United States, compared to, like, the EU or just... Europe or that side of the world in general, we have so many more time zones over here than I feel like a lot of, let's say, the England yeah. area does. Like, we have what? Is it four, three, four, five? We have at least four time zones spanning from, right? Or is it, you got yeah, West Coast, so. East Coast, Central, uh, Mountain Time. So that's four at least. I don't know about the rest. Ubisoft website. All right, I'll have to look it up. Yeah, I'll I'll do one more game after this, guys, and then I'm gonna go end it, get food, hang out with my friends for a little bit, and then come back later to uh, try the Division Two beta, and I'll stream it on Twitch. So, if notifications aren't working, I guess I'll tweet it out if you guys have those on, and it should work. But expect me to I think be back by. It's one of 10, 10, 10 people in Actually, this is going to be my last game on because I'm getting the fucking liquor shits coming. I feel it. <laughs> Just being honest. <laughs> <laughs> but that's my favorite thing to do. I'll just randomly, I'll be like, guys, um, I've prided myself on always being honest. Uh, I'm going to share something with you that I don't know how you're going to feel about it, but I just want to get off my chest. I have this feeling that I got to shit my pants so bad that I might just end the stream right now. <laughs> <laughs> I just love doing that shit. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I like how the stream game is Fortnite. Really yeah, nice there, there's no there's no Apex Legends category for a game on YouTube, so I had to go under the what? Fortnite category, yeah. At least I didn't That's see one crazy. when I was typing it in. Uh, I was looking at that too, and I'm like, shit, do I go under no games whatsoever, or do I just say I'm under Fortnite? Fuck, I'm gonna go to Fortnite. <laughs> oh, I see. Yes, yeah, so it was under Fortnite. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna add Apex Legends in the uh, fucking. I don't know. <laughs> I'm so fucking tired right now. I want to go to sleep so bad. <laughs> what time is it? Time, I'm like, it's three forty. It's very early, but at the same time, it's like. See, yeah. the the way my schedule is, my classes during the week. Like, I have two days where I start at 2 in the afternoon, and I have two days where I start at what? 11. So, yeah, because I have a lot of, I have two online classes this semester, so my schedule is a lot nicer in terms of when I have to wake up. But, like, it's so bad for me that, like, I don't go to bed till 3, 4 a.m. on the normal now. It used to be, like, it'd be 2 a.m., and I'd be like, shit, bro, I stayed up way too late. Now it's like, oh, it's 4 o'clock, might as well stay up till the morning. And take a nap. Yeah, I do that all the time during like the summer breaks or winter breaks or whatever. But like, but like, yeah, for this winter yeah. break, I didn't sleep or eat anything for three days straight. Jeez. But like, for, for you, you yeah. watch a lot of streamers and like YouTube videos and you connect with a lot of people in the I United do. States, which that, like, you and Zvor do the same thing. That must fuck your guys' sleep schedule. Like, when I'm doing a early evening slash, like, not close to midnight, but it's like nine, ten o'clock. That's late as fuck for you still. Well, I mean, it depends because uh, during a normal day, um, for example, on Mondays, like our uh, school schedule is really fucked. Because it's on Mondays we start at 8.50, but on Tuesday we start at 8. And it's like, it's so hard to adjust to a sleep schedule where you yeah. can wake up at 7 a.m. And, um, and it's like, when it's like 6 a.m., 
I have to see you going live at like on Twitch on like 6 a.m. or something like that or 3 a.m. I normally I'm gonna sleep at that time. See, like, yeah, I'm, I'm trying Friday, to something. I'm trying to fix that shit too. Like I'm trying to the way my schedule works too. I I can do like early afternoon streams, especially during the weekends. I'm trying to get earlier streams in the day so it's nicer for you guys. But then again, it's like shit just gets in the way in college. Like. I, I plan on streaming sometime, and the reason I don't, like, announce as much anymore is because, like, random shit will just come up, and I have no control about it. It'll be like, hey, group project decides we want to yeah, work on should, it now. If I'm going to be honest, you should check, like, what is your biggest audience? If you're, if there's a majority audience that is in Europe, then, of course, you should no, it's, it's, to it's, it's, audience. It's, but if it's in America, then you should definitely it's go with major, America It's and, a majority like, America, but... Yeah. The, but then my my thing my thing is I'm saying is if I let's say do a early afternoon stream and I go for a couple hours where it's going into the evening then potentially I can hit everyone rather than hit the United States people as they're getting ready for bed or late night gaming and then it's in the middle of the night for you guys but yeah uh, anyways I'm gonna yeah. show my pants thank you guys for hanging yeah. out I'll be on Twitch later I'll tweet it out. I will be playing the Divisions beta. So, yeah. Appreciate you guys hanging out. I'm going to... If you guys want to chill on Discord, feel free to. But I'm going to head out from Discord, too. I'm going to die. So, I'm peace. So... All yeah. right. Talk to you guys See later. You later, Mumbo.